Hey everyone, it's me, Everyone Knows Dave, and as always, I have a question. Are you tired of the 10-year-old daisy launcher that is slower than a mobility scooter uphill and crashes more times than an Atari? Maybe you're tired of DZ DZ saying it's double all your mods, give us five pounds to be promoted ethics. Or maybe you're just tired of trying to find that one server that never displays on the launcher. Or even, are you one of those who is sick of going on full pop servers that turn out to be empty and full of fake players? Well, turns out there's a better option out there, and it's called ZLaunch. An independently made, free daisy launcher that is so fast at finding servers, it literally blew my socks off. It has full mod compatibility and even checks for fake player counts. Yes, that's right. No more 100 pop empty servers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to compare how long this vanilla launcher takes to find a server compared with the Zed launch, uh, launcher. Now what I've done is I've picked a server that's actually quite easy for me to find. Uh, the Bitterroot playtest, which is, as you can see from the ping above, between 30 and 50 ping. So it's quite close to me. It's, it's actually one country across. However, what we're going to do is we're going to set the um, press search off and we're going to start the stopwatch. And we're going to keep going until the server appears. It's five seconds. That's ten seconds. That's fifteen seconds. It's a point when you're starting to get bored of waiting. We're into twenty seconds, and there it is, finally. So it took twenty-one seconds for the actual vanilla launcher to find it. Now, the question: How long does Z launcher take to find it? So let's build, boot the Z launch. Once it's booted, let's go immediately search as quickly as we can. And it's found it. <laughs> it's so fast you can't even press the stopwatch. This is so quick at finding places. It is absolutely ridiculous. Let's go for Karma Crew. There is Karma Crew. There is Karma Crew immediately. It is phenomenally fast. So, installation of the launcher, and I bet you're thinking, I bet this is complicated to uh, to install. I bet there's a million and one things that I have to do in order to get it to run. Well, you're wrong. Completely wrong. In fact, what you do is you go to the link in the description. Yay, a link in the description. This time you go for the one that says launcher, which will take you to their very own Discord. In their Discord, you go to the tab on the left that says updates, and you download the latest update. Yes. That will then take you to your downloads, da 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 And what you will find is the release 103 Alpha. Now, I use WinZip, uh, if, uh, WinZip, WinRa. If you use WinZip or Windows built-in zipper, it doesn't matter. Unzip it, and once you've unzipped it, go into the folder. You will find two files. Copy these files anywhere you bloody like, other than the game files themselves. I personally copied it to desktop, because what's easier to find than desktop? Paste it on your desktop or paste it wherever. Double click it and boom, done. Now, sometimes we have noticed that Windows Defender sometimes flags this up as possibly having a Trojan in it or a virus. It's a complete false, um, a false call. I've scanned this with multiple different virus scanners, including ones I trust with all my developments, and every single one comes back clean. As we all know, Windows Def Defender is a bit poo. It's not very good. I have been Everyone Knows Dave, you're finding servers an awful lot quicker, you're not playing on servers with fake players, so please, please, please press the subscribe button and like before you leave, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now!